Hello and welcome back to episode 4, Club 6 of Unknown to World Known. We're back with Barcelona. Since you were last with us, we've only played a few games, but they've been a couple of impressive wins and then a bit of a disappointing draw. So we're back to play the final group game against Manchester United, where if we win, we finish top of the group, and then also Athletic Bilbao. Since you were last with us, we beat Osasuna 5-1, Malaga 6-0, and then a draw with Valencia, which does mean we are now level on points with Real Madrid. Atletico have dropped a couple points, they're three points behind us both, but our goal difference is phenomenal, and it's basically going to be down to at the moment it looks like it's going to be down to whether we can beat them in the other game but Atletico dropping points to Tenerife of all teams who are down in 12th also I've just noticed Antilla Spore goal difference of minus 17 what have they done they lost 5-1 they lost 2-0 they lost 4-1 4-0 4-0 it's been good for them. Been good fun. So we're going to jump straight in, play the Manchester United game, and see where that leaves us. And the lineup we're going for in this game against Manchester United, we've got Claude Mert in goal. Our usual back four, Devern, Pardini, Jorge, and Emrick. Nguyen and Nico in midfield with Havertz through the middle. Or Tet on the right because Gerard is injured. Damsgaard on the left and Fabio Silva up front. For the first time since episode 2. Admittedly that's, that's one episode ago. But that's not the point. We kick off this game. And it is going to be semi-important here. If we can win. We in theory get the easier draw in the next round. But I think we've got to win. No, because of the points. Yeah, any win here we go through uh, top of the group. However, that is not a way to try and get a win as Zanilo blows it off to Rashford. Pardini put in a good tackle, but then... Oh, what a save from Claudima. <laughs> a little bit of a mess defensively, but we managed to get away with that one there. And... Oh... Pulled knee ligaments for Fabio Silva. That's very tempted to bring him off. And I think that's going to be... We're not going to risk him. We're going to send Jean Carlos on. Because... I can't risk Fabio Silva being out for another few weeks. We, we need his goal scoring. To keep up our league form. And this... Manchester United team... Seems a little bit good. They do seem a little bit good. I think they won the Premier League last year. I think they've won. It's not the first one they've won. They've won a few. So I think they might just be. It might not be so much. As bottling it in the in these games. I think they might just be very good and we need to set up a bit more for a counter-attack than possession like we normally do. It's 3-0. It's 3-0, less than half an hour in. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, we're going to go to cautious and I'm going to berate them as well and just see if that cautious mentality does help at all. Damsgaard's going to whip a corner in and it's straight to the first man and Nico plays it off to Nguyen who shoots just wide the corner hitting the first man is the Manchester United special in real life at the moment and it looks like for some reason we're taking that tactic off of them in Football Manager that has been an Awful first half. We're throwing the water bottle. They're demotivated. Well, don't be 3 0 down at half time then. There's your solution. Get good. It's not been a fun game for us here. 
all I can really hope at this point. Let's have a quick scan through. Liverpool are looking like they're going to be top of their group. PSG, Chelsea. Some good teams top of the groups, aren't they? Pardini picks the ball up deep and sends it to Ortet on the right-hand side, who plays it back to Dervern. And Nguyen... Nico, get off the pitch for that. He's straight off. It's not 4-0 in the background. And we're going to bring Nguyen off as well, just for his fitness. Oh, no, it is 4-0. Oh, no, it's not 4-0. That was a bit of confusion. Nico then just let Solomon take the ball. I mean, yeah, that's a clear offside. You'd have to question why the referees, the linesman's flag isn't going straight up there because he just shouldn't be spotting that. I do think in real life, like the, the way offsides are done, it's kind of smart, but it's kind of infuriating because you see some that are so obvious. And the flag goes up. Uh, the flag doesn't go up and you're like, it's six yards offside. Just put your flag up. I don't know. I think some linesmen are far too reliant on VAR and they're just scared to make their own decision. Havertz plays it to Julio, who finds Ortet, sends it inside very poorly, and now Clivert's in and this time he's onside and this time it's 4-0. Um, yeah, this has been two humblings Manchester United have given us. Oh, God, it's five. And the one at their ground has somehow ended up worse than the one at our ground. Ben White, of all people. That is absolutely awful. We go through top of the uh, second in the group. Nevertheless, we're storming out of the post-match press conference because of our wins over Marseille. We were always safe there. We'll go and have a look how we get on against Bilbao, and then following that, we have got the draw for the next round of the Champions League. So let's see how we get on against Bilbao first. And against Bilbao, we're going to go with a lineup. Cordoma in goal. Aaron's returns in the back four. Midfield is going to be Julio and Kone. And then Conchiao comes in for Ortet on the right. And Nico coming in through the middle. Mainly just due to fitness and Guy and Havertz struggling. Uh, they weren't fully fit for this game. So we decided to rest them. I did throw in an extra training session after the 5-0 loss. Because they deserved it. However, another thing to note here is in La Liga, Atletico and Real Madrid drew earlier today. Which means a win here sends us two points clear at the top of the league if we can get that. And five points clear of Atletico, which would be very handy for us. And it looks like we've not really started doing anything and Emrick has gone down with an injury which means Nguyen's rest is over let's demand more Martinez with the corner for Atletico and it's gone back in and that was a dangerous way it went back in and let's have none of that thank you very much we've now approaching half time we've not had a single highlight in our favour and to be fair, there's only been one highlight in the entire first half. We've reached half-time without a highlight, so we're going to tell them we're not happy with the performance. And we're going to get rid of work the ball into the box and also demand more. Damsgaard is struggling on that left-hand side. I think we'll send Havertz on now just to try and create a bit more from there. We've now finally got a highlight as we have Nguyen throw it to Nico and Kone sent it down to Nguyen on the wing who sends it inside to Havertz, cuts in and it was towards Conchial but it's headed away. Julio 
knocks it back to Aaron's, who's got space to go into on the right hand side. Back to Julio, who sends it all the way across to Nguyen. Kone now finds the ball through for Havertz, and it slotted away, but it was just offside. I did think as the ball was played, I thought it was just too early to make that through ball, and it was be interesting. I don't think it was very far offside. No, not not much, but correct decision. Don't get me wrong, but unfortunately, just off. And I think we'll then do that. We'll send Carlos on for Kone so he can be right behind Fabio Silva and we'll make him a shadow striker. And we're going to go attacking as well. Conchial with the ball in. It's headed on and Fabio Silva. And this time he is onside. Makes it 1-0. Pardini with a fantastic header into him. So Conchial with the ball in there. And Pardini just headers it on. And Fabio Silva beats Nunes in the air. It said there was a mistake from the goalkeeper. I think it was referring to the goal. I mean, that was a bit harsh to say there was an error there. Also, Athletic Bilbao have a guy called Alejandro Bilbao up front. That is fantastic. We've got the win, 1-0. Fabio Silva coming to the rescue and getting us through the game. It was a bit of a tough one. I think, to be fair, Athletic Bilbao, they are fifth, so they they should be giving us more of a fight than like the Villarreal's did and things like that. I would have liked it to be a bit more comfortable. 5-4 between Levante and Celta Vigo. What a game that would have been. But yeah, dropped points for the rail for the two Madrids, which means we have gone top of the league. Broken ankle for Emrick. So maybe during January, which is about to come up, we might need to have a look for a new left back. What we will do now is we will come back in one of two places. We either come back following the January transfer window for Real, Alviedo and Espanyol. Or we may come back for the Super Cup if we're in the final. I'm not going to show you the semi-final. Because it's only the Super Cup. It's like the Charity Shield. Who cares? But before that, we've got a Champions League draw to look at. So, Champions League draw time. Let's see who we can get. I mean, y- you want her to be in there. You just want her to Berlin. You don't want anything else. If I was forced to pick from the rest, probably Leipzig. But please, her to Berlin. Inter Milan get Manchester United. Zenit draw Leipzig. Monaco draw her to... There's the one we wanted. Out of the rest, I guess Chelsea or AC Milan. Liverpool get PSG. Roma getting through from their group, get Chelsea. Manchester City, get Juventus, which means we are getting AC Milan. Dortmund getting Real Madrid. How are Roma getting on? They're second in the league following my departure. They spent a bit of money, sold basically the same amount, um... Not particularly anyone for a lot of money, just lots of little sales from the looks of it. And then bought in Penner and Pulisic. In fact, the only two signings after I left. But going well in the league, to be fair to them. Uh, they're not too far off the top and they're well well in the top four. So that's nice to see. One of our four, former teams doing well. I really would have liked her to pull in there. But AC Milan, they're fourth at the moment. They've been up. At, they did win the league a few years ago. I think it's a winnable game, though. I mean, we we beat them a few times with Roma. We've got a better team than we had at Roma. So hopefully, we'll be winning that 
So we will be back for either a Super Cup final or Real Oviedo and Espanyol. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like. Comment how you think we're going to get on with the Super Cup and in the Champions League game, although you can do that in the next episode tomorrow as well. And subscribe if you are enjoying the series. Thank you very much for watching.